we will discuss about the security threats associated with the IT infrastructure. Any technology can be used for the human benefits, but any technology can also be used by criminals and antisocial elements. The internet users now face a number of problems due to security threats. Periodically, our computers are affected by viruses. Virus damage or destroy the information on the computer and they spread very fast. Credit card information is stolen by the hackers. The terrorists use the internet extensively to plan attacks. And information wars are initiated by bombing servers with unwanted mails and network connections. Security threats will adversely affect individuals. They lose their privacy. They lose confidence in using the internet for e-commerce transactions and they lose confidence on the public safety measures if those measures still do not protect them. If the individual lose confidence, then the business of the enterprise involved in the e-commerce is also affected. Enterprises lose millions of dollars due to fraud on the internet. Enterprise espionage cause both direct and indirect losses to the organization. And unfortunately, many employees and ex-employees are responsible for enterprise espionage. In this information age, every individual should have a good awareness about the security issues, security policies of the organization in which he or she is working, and also the laws related to information security. People should also be aware of the ethical issues concerning the use and misuse of the information system. As information systems are technology driven, people should also have the necessary technical exposure to security systems and technologies. Every organization should have a security policy. This security policy should reflect the management's commitment to provide secure information system while protecting the privacy of the individuals. Policy should also indicate the management's approach to introduce new technologies and services and training the employees on information security. Every organization should work out the detailed procedures for developing information security system. The procedure should include identification of critical information assets, identification of threats to the information system, finding out the vulnerabilities and taking preventive measures to avoid the threats, working out the mechanism for detection of fraud and recovery of the systems after attack and training for the people. For providing security, a number of security products need to be installed in the enterprise. These products include antivirus softwares, firewalls, surveillance system, intrusion detection system, etc. However, just installing these products alone will not provide the necessary security. People, policies and procedures are very important. It needs to be emphasized again that people, policies, procedures and products are the four pillars of any security system. Together they provide the solution for providing physical security, computer security and network security.